Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Delicia. I am excited to show you what we have for today. Yes, I did previously film a video, so I am wearing the same ensemble. It is too much work to go upstairs and change. So I am in full Easter mode. Um, I know it's in a few months, but I like to get prepared. I actually um, were, was, blah, 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 blah. I was actually working on these goodie bags or treat bags, if you will, um, I think in November, like I was already preparing for this. So today I will be showing you how I make these little bunnies. I'm gonna be making the big ones. These are little treat bags. This one is smaller, but they are so cute and it's all done in your hoop. I currently have the Baby Love Flourish 2 single needle embroidery machine and I will be using my six by 10 hoop. So like I said, these do come in two sizes, um, but I will be doing this one and I will be doing different colors, um, but it is done all in your hoop. It's so exciting. And here's the hole. It's a pretty decent sized hole. You know, the person will fill it up with whatever they want to fill it with. And then I do include a ribbon that they can tie. And then the bunny has ears. You can use other types of fabric if you want, but I am choosing to use the minky dot because I do have scraps from when I make blankets. So it's a good way to utilize um, your leftover fabric. If you have any. So what you will need is all of your minky, your hoop, tear away stabilizer. I also um, have the water soluble topper the stabilizer just so that your threads don't get mixed in with the minky. It just comes, you know, it's a, it's a better look. It's a better look. All your threads, your thread of choice. I use Floriani and let's get to it. I already have everything set up. So let's go. And we're gonna go ahead and start it. And it's gonna do the outline. thing you also will need is some temporary adhesive spray just so that the minky doesn't move around um, literally the smallest amount okay so now you're gonna put it back on the machine and we're gonna do the tack down and make sure it's all nice and flat So now I'm grabbing my water soluble stabilizer. And I do like to um, pin mine. So I drag it up to the ears because I know nothing's gonna happen there as far as stitches. So I will pin it up there. And then over here, this is just so that as it's stitching, it's not, um, you know, going everywhere. Because this soluble stabilizer, it will shift on you. Don't do what I did, I just poked a hole at the bottom. Okay. So it is now, if you can see, it is time to do the face. So we're gonna go ahead and stitch the face and then we will go and do the nose and the name.
So it says I should be doing white for the eyes, but I'm gonna jump to the nose and the name. And then I will come back for the white um, as my last step here on this angle. Is this better? I don't even know. I'm asking you like you're gonna answer me right now. So let's go ahead and do the nose. the name. I don't know if I made, oh, I made it barely big enough. So what I do next is take out the pins and then I gently take off the stabilizer, the water soluble stabilizer. Okay. And then I make sure that the minky is going the same direction. And what I mean is, you know, the grain. Is that what it's called? The grain line. Ooh, we're barely gonna make it. I cut it a little small, so it's like barely gonna make the cut. And then I'm gonna go back to step six. And this is what you should not do. You should not keep your hands in the machine like I'm gonna do, okay? Don't do it. Okay, so I did finish all four of the ones I was doing. Here's the white one we were working on. And I'm just now taking this one off. I just randomly chose the colored threads to use. 
Okay, so the next step is going to be grabbing your trash can because this is going to be messy. We're going to tear off. If I make a whole bunch of them, I just like I do each step at the same time so I'm not sitting here multitasking too much. And then you want to tear out the inside. So basically, all the stabilizer gone. Now you don't have to trim all these little stitches, but I do because um, I don't like them. And I also need my tweezers to get all the stabilizer out. I'm just going to use my nails today. If I had a multi-needle, this would be way easier. Okay, so I did that one. We're going to do the same thing to all of them. Okay. Now that we cleaned it up mostly on the inside, you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to do like all the little bits, but I just prefer to do it that way. I need my tweezers. So then what you're gonna do is, you're going to, you can cut or you can use a rotary. I'm just gonna use my rotary. You're gonna go all the way around. You're gonna get close, but not too close because you don't want to cut any stitches or to like accidentally make a hole. Now, when I get to the ear, I go partial with the rotary and then I grab my scissors. and follow that stitch that's there. That's your guide. And then there. Do you hear booming? Um, my kids are having a dance party upstairs apparently. Sound like you're having a good time. Okay, get any of your stitches that you have on the front. I pull off my, I don't actually use water to take off my water soluble stabilizer. I don't like how the water reacts to the minky. Or the, I rephrase, I don't like how the minky reacts to the water. So. Just go ahead. I actually used a little extra on this one because I was struggling. So there's a lot to pull off. At the whiskers, there was the jump stitch. I grabbed my seam ripper and I cut carefully all of the whisker jump stitches and then I cut them. Would an average person realize that that was supposed to be cut if they received this order? No, probably not. Okay, so this is bunny number one. Go ahead and do that to all of them. So we have ribbon options and I kind of just choose what I like. So I'll put the purple aside. With this one I'm going to he heat seal it. Let's see. How long is this? This is 21. I think I do 20. I don't even remember how long. And then I just go ahead and heat seal. 
and all you need to do. So this, this one's about 20 inches. I don't even know if that's enough, but you do what you like if you want to include ribbon. Perfect. So here is that one. send them with the bows on it. I just send it um, with the ribbon and then, you know, they can tie your bow. But to show you how cute they are, and to show you, I know I showed you at the beginning, but the hole is, I mean, pretty decent size. You can put little gummies in there. I believe even an egg surprise fits in here. Oh, if you know a kinder egg, you know what those are. Those fit in there. These are perfect for like, you know, um, teachers for their classrooms, kids for their classrooms, or just, you know, cute little thing to put in the Easter basket. If you celebrate. And there you go. Thank you for joining me in making these cute little bunny ear in the hoop things, bunnies. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, like all the things, comment on this video if you liked it. It really helps me out, especially since I'm a small, trying to grow kind of page. <laughs> but I truly appreciate it and thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.